Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Christmas Around the World. Thank you for joining me this morning. I have a beautiful guest with me today, Emmeline, beautiful name. She is from France, and she is here to talk to us about Christmas in France. So before we really get started, I just want to say, as always, this show is intended to be with real people from around the world, really living in these countries. So um, don't be surprised if Google tells you something different than the people on my show because they actually live there. <laughs> and we have found that out nearly every day. So first I'd like to say welcome, Emmeline. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And let's tell everyone a little bit about you and what you do. Yeah, first, thank you so much for welcoming here, uh, Angie. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Uh, you recognize my French accent, so I'm <laughs> Evelyn. I'm based in France nearby Paris and Disneyland Paris. And I'm a translator, interpreter in French, English and Spanish on my side. <laughs> yes, so um, um, you can tell I have a lot of people in my network that also work with languages, um, translations and things like that. I'm a huge fan of your competitor is not your enemy, is probably your best friend if you're doing it right. So I do try to keep a lot of translators close to me. So I also, um, as people have known me for a while, uh, so some people that were friends of mine back in the Procter & Gamble days of Belgium might be stunned at how poor my French is these days. <laughs> <laughs> since it was my first language for about a year. Um, but it's just a great example. I would never translate for someone um, into French, even though I have you know perfect marks in school and I spoke it for a year. I would never do that because it's really important to have the right person doing it, someone that's truly very versed native speaker. There's just moments, and Emmeline is wonderful. Her, her English is wonderful, so she'd be a great translator into French or into Spanish. So. Um, getting started, we already have a wonderful guest. Oh, James, I haven't seen him in a while. So hello, James. Greetings from Malaysia. Greetings from the States and from France. Yes. <laughs> nice to have you here. Okay, so uh, let's jump right in. Why don't you tell me um, a little bit about some French Christmas traditions? How do you celebrate the holidays? <laughs> um, okay, let me try to start with something. I will try it to talk about children first because I think this this uh, this period is more about children or for them, you know? Yeah. And um, I mean, something we have here, I don't know if it's the same you tell me uh, around the world, we have the advent calendar, you know, in order to help the children to wait until the 24th and 25th, like the Christmas day. And every day they, they open it so you have different type of calendar and you can have chocolate inside or you can have different... Uh, game or toys in it and for them every day you take this uh, one day the first of december and then all the times until the 24th and 25th and then they're happy you know it helps them to wait yeah yeah they you know that's recently gotten popular here so i always had advent as a child because i'm catholic so we always did advent but and sometimes I got like a little calendar with some candies in it. Um, but now they do it with wine, with cheese. <laughs> There's advent calendars everywhere now. It's not recently not popular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's one thing uh, that we do. And uh, also, um, usually we do the Christmas tree the 1st of December. So beginning of December or some of them, some of the people here, maybe they do that at the end of November, like they are very, uh, <laughs> they're in hurry to be in the Christmas day. So the Christmas tree, with all the decorations, so you buy it, uh, I mean, beginning of December and then you you put all the the ornament uh, with your families and maybe sharing and uh, the special uh, hot chocolate, the Christmas hot chocolate. I don't know if you heard Ooh, about no. it. <laughs> One of my friends told me about that and I test that in, uh, in her place because she's doing like with the milk and real chocolate. And also she had like the special touch like rum or cognac, just a little bit. And then you see the perfume, the taste is different, but it's very good. And then you see it, you feel Christmas, uh, you know. <laughs> Oh, then you feel the Christmas warmth. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what else? What else can I tell you? Um, we have the Christmas movie. Huh. 
we love the Christmas movie and it starts like middle of November. So when you have the movies, uh, the TV show, like uh, movies in the, in the, in the TV, you, you know, it's soon Christmas. So you can watch them every day and people, they just love being in front of the TV every day with <laughs> chocolate and, and watching them. It's, it's, I, I definitely don't have the time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the people here, they just, uh, I mean, they are uh, in their place so they can watch the, the TV, uh, the movie. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah, we, we celebrate Christmas. I mean, we already have like a huge dinner the 24th uh, of December. And then we also have a huge uh, lunch the 25th of December. So basically, we, only, <laughs> we are always eating <laughs> during this Always festival. eating. <laughs> That, that's a common theme that the holiday celebrations always eating. Yeah. And now you talk about eating. I found this word here. Um, Réveillon. Is that how, is that the meal? Is that the name of the meal that you have? Or what is that? Is like Réveillon is just to say that it's the, the, the special, um, I mean, special dinner before um, Christmas. So usually we use it for Christmas, Réveillon de Noël, like a, a Christmas dinner. Okay. Or we can use it also for the New Year. You know, we have like this dinner before uh, the New Year, like the last dinner of the year. So we can say ah, the Réveillon, okay. uh, le, le réveillon uh, for, for the New Year, you know. So that's basically the dinner before the big day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, because I'd never heard that word. And I was thinking, because I now when I, my experience is not, I mean, I've been to France and I've traveled there, but I lived in Belgium. So Belgian French is a whole different world than, <laughs> than, <It's, yeah. laughs> than actual French from France. It's a whole different, I was like, oh, I don't remember that. Because I was there around Christmas and I thought, I don't remember that word at all. So I was going to ask you about that. The other thing I was going to ask you, and you may or may not know, because I didn't know this either, Yule logs do um, was apparently that tradition started in France, and now I just know that we buy them at the Christmas store here. We buy them at Christmas time, and it's a dessert. <laughs> so we we basically um, it is like a cherry chocolate cake that's rolled up to look like a log is what we eat here. But the actual Yule log and the tradition I I read it started in France um, because the log that they would burn actually smelled like cherries. And I'm sure this was hundreds of years ago. So I was just curious if you knew anything about that. Uh, about the cherry things, not really, but the logs, yes. I mean, um, we hit this. I was going to tell you what kind of dish we have for Christmas too. That's um, interesting, but let's start with the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the log, the log, yes, is usually what we hit uh, for Christmas and sometimes before Christmas because we love them so much. So you have different tests. And you have chocolate, you have vanilla. Uh, I don't know the special one, the cherry one, but probably we should have some, you know, here we are uh, <laughs> good in pastry. So basically we should find logs with cherry. It's not my favorite one. I definitely don't like cherry in the... <laughs> The dessert, but it's it's possible to find to find. I mean, you can find any type of logs, any test, and um, my mom my mom cooked them too. You know, I love chocolate, so basically it would be <laughs> easy for me just chocolate. Uh, you have, I mean, you can have, yeah, all of all of them. So I don't know if you test them when you came last lately uh, in France or in Belgium. They must have mm. them. Yeah, um, uh, we do them here in the States still, too. I was actually looking for a picture for anyone that doesn't have them because we do have, I know, like, James is from Malaysia. And sometimes we have um, <clears throat> people from other areas. And I did find one, so I'm going to share this screen real quick. This is this is one. This is what I would think I'm going to see in the ah. States would be something like this. I don't know what they look like in France, but that, that would be similar to what I would see here. Yeah. So that's chocolate in there um i'm with emmeline no cherries thank you yeah. <laughs> uh, they have one cherry on top i could deal with that and then this would be like powdered sugar and it's just a cake and some chocolate puddings or mousse or something wrapped up in there so yeah um, you can have a lot of things just uh, in, in front of the logs that should be i mean i mean you it looks better so i don't know sometimes it could be like 
things in sugar that you can eat or um, some other like i don't know in plastic just to be beautiful on, on the log you know yeah oh fun all right and then you were going to tell us about food. I got all excited and I jumped forward to dessert, but <laughs> she's going to tell us about food. You know, well, I don't know. <laughs> you you know the, the typical French. Uh, ah, yes. This one is, was good. <laughs> oh, is that the one that you were? I was going to say this one too. What did I do with that guy? Oh, no, I lost him. Okay. We'll bring him back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm sure you know the, the one of the, the special dish we have in France for Christmas. I mean, and and basically, people around the world don't understand this dish. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. People have been traveling, and they were like, "In France, you're eating escargot." Do you know? <laughs> I do know escargot, and and I have to say, like, I was very open minded. I I really I really tried. I understand the sauce. I just can't get past the. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like oysters, though, right? Like you just. You just got to swallow it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's the way you cook, you cook them. I, I never cook them. Yes. So that's the, <laughs> that's the escargot. And this is a Christmas dish. This We usually eat this for for Christmas. Um, I, I should tell you that I'm from a French island uh, where the traditions are a bit different because we don't eat that in my island. But in France, France, metropole, uh, the continent, we do eat, they do, they do eat escargot. It's not bad. I already tried them. I mean, it's okay. Um, and you have different uh, ways of cooking them. So I, I, I don't know the sauce or the, the, the things they put in it. But yes, it's usually you eat escargot. This is Christmas period for sure. Okay. Oh, that's it's, so crazy. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not. Um, I mean, it's not a cheap dish. I think it's. Uh, you, you, we hit this for Christmas because it's. Uh, it's more expensive than uh, other dish, like uh, salmon. You know, they do love like the. Um, you know, to at the beginning of the uh, of the diner, they they start with the salmon. There's some toast of salmon. Uh, I hate salmon, sorry, but uh, they do eat this. <laughs> they eat salmon and, and also uh, foie gras, you know, the foie gras, the fat, fat flavor. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's another one that I just, um, you know, foie gras, though, I have to say, if I hadn't known what it was, I think I would have been okay with it because and I'll show a few pictures here. We're just going to share directly from Google. Um, let me, where do I go here? Share the screen. Let's share this. Um, yeah, let's share this one here. So I had at one point in time, I ate, when I first had foie gras, it looked a lot more like this one. Yeah. yeah. And so I knew what it was and that just wanted to make me sick. The second time, uh, it was more like that. I had no idea what it was. And I thought, well, this is delicious. And then someone said, oh, it's foie gras. I said, oh, God, I can't eat that. <laughs> so, yeah. so foie gras, I think, is more the concept of what it is <laughs> versus the taste. Because it tasted actually great. <laughs> no, ma'am, you're going to love because basically I don't eat salmon. I don't eat foie gras. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. So basically, when when Christmas happening, you're like, what are you going to eat? I mean, I'm going to uh, eating things, and I will definitely don't eat them. Um, in my island, we do like samosa. I don't know if you know about that, but we do. Yeah. It's homemade samosa, so you can put anything um, inside. Usually, I prefer the one with chicken, and we put also uh, gingerbread uh how do we call that like a uh, link uh, gingerbread we have also spicy um in it well chili you know no like, you said you're from an island i didn't realize that where are you from uh it's uh, la reunion is a Iranian island nearby madagascar and africa in the indian ocean but it's a french oh, island. wow yeah, well, I didn't know that about you. See, I'm yes. still learning things. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. How fun. And there, we eat a lot of chili pepper. So in every plate and dish, we do have this. So that's also why we do have traditions here in France and the, the main continent 
but in in my on my side we have like the chili pepper everywhere <laughs> which is very different <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. So uh, now I see why you're, you're also not a massive escargot person, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And oysters too. We eat oyster for Christmas. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's, I mean, they're, they're okay. I test them too. And that's specific dish that we have for Christmas. Oyster, salmon, foie gras. Um, what else? Did I forget something? And seafood and uh, turkey. So basically, you can eat also pomme dauphine, which is between French fries and potatoes. I don't know if you know what's the pomme dauphine. No. Uh, but it's like French fried and potatoes mix up the two of them. So, okay. so that's basically. And then the log at the, for the dessert. And we can have like the pastry logs or the ice cream logs. You have the one you oh. pick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, we have those now too, the ice cream ones. Yeah. You have different options. And I didn't mention about the Christmas market because here yeah, we love Christmas market. We've got the, the biggest one in Strasbourg, which is in the east part of France. And I'm going there this at the oh, end of the weekend. <laughs> are you? I was going to ask because some people aren't having their Christmas markets, at least not the way they had because of COVID. So that's yeah. wonderful. There's Strasbourg still having their Christmas market? Yes, I mean, last year they were cancelled uh, but due to the situations. And this year, like, you've got all the sanitary measures to respect. But for now, it's still okay. So I just pray <laughs> to be able to go at the end of the week because it's the biggest one. And to be honest, I've never been before. We have some in Paris, in the everywhere we have Christmas market. But this one is the is the biggest one. And you have, like, mulled wine, as you see. Yes, we talked about the mulled wine. <laughs> Yes, and uh, also, you know, the, um, the candy apple, you know? I don't know if you know the candy Oh, apple. yeah, yeah, with the, not with caramel, though. You put, like, a cinnamon, like a red, the red, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you all of that, uh, except uh, the wine, the other things I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do. You see, you see that every times at um, for Christmas and Christmas market, and also the homemade gingerbread, the biscuit. I don't know if you know that. This one. Yeah, the gingerbread one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we have those too sometimes. So interesting, though. I don't feel like we have candy apples very much for Christmas or gingerbread. Yes, like we have lots of different gingerbread cookies. We make gingerbread houses. I actually made one of those last night. For the first time in my life, by the way, don't make fun of the Americans, but um, I've never made a gingerbread house. Those are very hard to make. <laughs> I, actually, I never made them either. And <laughs> I, I don't like them either. So I don't, <laughs> I don't like them either. I think that's why I never made it. Because I, I was like, you've never made one. I was like, why would I? They're gross. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> no, no, oh, but you can funny. find a... No, but you know, which is good when you go to Christmas market or even if when you go outside during this period, you have all the lights, you have all this enchantment. Sometimes you have music on the street and, you know, it's different this period. And maybe you just hope, I mean, they hope, not personally, but they hope to, to have the snow, you know, the snow, like you have the perfect picture of Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you could have snow, though, in France, right? I yeah. mean, you have white Christmases. I feel like your weather is very similar to mine. Um, so, you know, I, I don't always have a white Christmas, but it's not out of the question. So Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. It's been, I mean, I don't remember last time for Christmas we had the snow. Um, but it happened. Sometimes it happens. For now, I don't think this, this year we will have snow because it's still too hot. I mean, it's cold, but it's still too hot to have snow. <laughs> yeah, it's been warm here too. Well, I can't say that. <laughs> it depends on the day. It's been very warm, and then the very next day, it's like super cold. I mean, we've had very weird, very weird weather. So, But like today, um, I think it's almost like springtime. So, oh, no, just kidding. That was yesterday. Today, it's cold again. <laughs> So it's bizarre weather. Oh, that's fun. Um, um, what about Santa? Do you have, um, does he come yeah. to the children? 
Santa comes at midnight on her side, so they won't wait uh, the 25th in the morning to get their gift. So basically, yes, I have some stories <laughs> with that. I remember when I was a child, you know, you wait for Santa. You wait so much for him. You're like, he's coming with my gift and I will definitely not sleep. And I will see him, you know, and I want to share with him, I don't know, coffee, I don't know, not coffee, but chocolate or anything <laughs> And I remember when I was a child, I was waiting for him so much. And they just played with me. They were like, oh, let's go there. We have to look for this game. And then I came back and then the gift were there. I was like, what, what happened? Where is Santa Claus? You know, you look for him. And they were like showing me the window, like, he's there. You don't see him. You already left. <laughs> he has to see the other children. You know, he has to bring the, the gift. And I was like, no, I wanted to meet him. Where is he? I want to see him. I want to oh. see him. And, then, yeah. and then the other side, when you're adult and then you have children, so not mine, but my friends, and then you're like playing the same game. And then they go upstairs. And then when they come back, you have all the all the gift there. <laughs> but it's a race because you're already you're running to get all the gift and put them, you know, on the, on the, under the, the tree. And then then they come back and they have this magic, you know, all the gifts here. And uh, and this is beautiful. You see them opening the gift. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, I know. We do the same. We do the same thing. Like you said, it's a game. It's a race. And. Um, we were talking about it with the video in Italy the other day because Gianni said, it's the first great lie you tell your children. I said, oh, it's terrible to think. We're the first game. <laughs> so I like to think of it as a game. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So Yeah, no, so that's, that's beautiful because you see they, 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 they believe in it so much and they're so happy. They're like, wow, this is crazy. Oh, and I, and I got that. And then they don't realize that like three months ago, we were listening so much. What do they want? How much do they want? <laughs> <laughs> but I have to buy this and then you have the gift. Um, but this is this is a great moment. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you talked about the, um, I mean, the fact that it's a Christian feast. It's a party. Uh, you have, in some families, they put, um, how do you say, um, you know, on on the tree, they put the um, oh, like the angel on the tree. The coat, the coat, you know, with Jesus and the oh, the, it's like the like they put a picture of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Like uh, the it's not on the, the pictures. They can have like the the small uh, yeah. The, we call this is so funny. This is a word everyone, Emily. So everyone that I bring on the show that you guys have seen speaks really good English, and this is a word that nobody seems to know. <laughs> <laughs> Every everyone talks the same thing. Later, this is awful, but <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's just but in English. Obviously, you know it in your own language, but um, it's just not something you use very often, right? I mean, nativity is what we call it. So it's like a you can even have like the figurines of Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and and if I remember right, when I, because I was in France once for Christmas in the Champagne region, and um, they had large, they, like shepherds and king. There was there were a lot of nativities in in France. I remember seeing. Yeah, some cities you can go. You have the Christmas trees outside, and sometimes you have very huge, uh, real uh, figures. And th this is beautiful with the light and everything. And yeah, in some places you see. Uh, this is enchanting. <laughs> it is. It, it's really, really beautiful. Now, you told me, again, you're fr originally, you're from a French island near Madagascar? Yes, called the Rainian Island. Okay, okay. And then, um, so, oh my gosh. So, that's close to, oh yeah, I know where you are now. So, <laughs> uh, the weather there was would not be, what's the weather like there for Christmas? Because it's not. Oh, the oh, weather there yeah. is the <laughs> hot with the sun. This is completely different of what we have in Paris or near like Paris or even in French continent. But no, no, we have the sun in, in the highland. Uh, and it's definitely the summer season there. So, um, but to be honest, I never done Christmas there. So I won't be able to tell you what's going on with Santa Claus, for example. I don't know how we do. Oh, it, it comes, you know. Uh, because something I forgot to mention here in the in French continents, it usually is supposed to go through the um, 
how do you say the cheminée, like the fireplace. Usually oh, yeah. we have the fireplace in our, in our house. You can do that in the apartment, but you know, in the house, <laughs> you can do this with the fireplace and the, the Santa Claus is supposed to come to the, from the fireplace. <laughs> exactly the same here. Exactly the same here. And I thought, <clears throat> I really realized how, how crazy that was. Not that it wasn't always, but I was talking to Nicola. I think you know Nicola too, Nicola Seda, um, about Christmas in Spain. And she says, oh, and Santa comes on a boat from the Netherlands. Wow. I said, oh, that's crazy. I said, no, I'm crazy. Mine comes with flying reindeer from the North Pole and then comes through my chimney. <laughs> I think mine's crazy. Yours is much more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> it comes to Spain much more realistically. <laughs> yeah, but in Spain they have like the um, les rois mages. How do you say the like king? The um, oh the yeah, they do the <laughs> epiphany is very big in Spain when the yes. feast of the three kings. <clears throat> three kings, yes. And then basically they say, I mean, they told me usually the Christmas uh, party is less important than the three kings in January uh, for the epiphany. Yeah, that's what she's saying. She said that's more for like, um, and anybody that's watching that's interested, that's on the YouTube channel, I think, too, Spain and Germany, because Nicola has one foot in both worlds. Um, but she was saying it was a different world for her because in Germany it was all about Christmas and Christmas Eve. And, and then in Spain, it, the Christmas is more just for the children, um, more of something just for the kids and a, and a nice like dinner. Like it's not totally forgotten, but the big one is the kings and the big gifts come by the kings yes so yeah it's uh, really fun to see how everyone celebrates it a little bit differently but <clears throat> still really really interesting yeah and we have the mess at midnight too here i mean for the christian people um i mean you can stay at home or you can decide to go to the mess at midnight and then you come back home and then you see the gift. It's also an option. <laughs> yeah, no, actually that's how I was raised. Again, the Catholic piece of it, I think, but we would go, when I was little, we would go to church and then we'd come back and then Santa would, had come or something. Um, well, with my grandparents, but that, that was German tradition, I think more. And um, then when I, when we started joining our house, Santa came in the chimney. <laughs> so <laughs> luckily we had a fireplace and a chimney <laughs> yeah. so oh very good well Emmeline thank you so much for being here today with me for chatting with me is there anything else that you'd like to add that I haven't asked yet or um, thank you I mean my pleasure I, I did not know I, I, I mean um, I, I was not sure I, I would have been able to talk about Christmas that much <laughs> She but did. Then, she talked a lot. She told us everything we need to know. It's all about the food and and lots of and this one's especially funny because I asked people, oh, do you want to talk about Christmas? And they're more nervous to be prepared to talk about Christmas than their businesses. And I think, no, yes. it's very easy. I'm just going to ask you what you do for Christmas. It's, it's easier to talk about your business than yeah. Christmas. But then I remember a few things and uh, I mean, now for the adults and the children and at the end, this is an enchanting period and this is great and and also i think it's important to think about people they don't have i mean they're not surrounded by other people and sometimes they're alone uh just to send sending them some positive vibes and uh, you know in this period yeah so once again we've also found that in france as many other countries we've been to it's all about the same thing we might do it differently, but it's all about our family, our friends, taking care of those around us that don't have family and friends around them, um, caring for people less fortunate and enjoying a lot of great food and wine and parties while we're doing it. So it's really all about the same thing, just done in a different way. So Emmeline, thank you again um, for joining me, for being here with me today. And I would love to invite everyone back tomorrow. We're gonna do it in the evening. So it's gonna be a very different time for us, but we are going to Japan. So we have Mr. Shu Aoshi with us tomorrow to talk about um, the holidays in Japan. Some very surprising things. You might see there especially um their dinner kentucky fried chicken happens to be a yeah. popular dinner <laughs> so thank you so much things. i will follow that uh, <laughs> i will see yeah. what's going on in japan 
Oh, right. cool. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Emily, for being here. Thanks everyone for tuning in, for watching, commenting and stopping by. And I hope to see some of you tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your week and happy holidays. Oh, Joyo Noel, Joyo Noel, right? Joyo Noel. Noel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>